it's Katie and welcome to my corner of the world. So today I wanted to update you on my panning project. This was the Lose 10 by Summer project that I did through the Panning Ladies. I have a Facebook group. I will put all of that information down below. So the goal of this pan project was to get rid of 10 items and 10 pounds before the start of summer. Now I started this as in early May, okay, so I only had about six or seven weeks to get through everything, but I did choose 10 products and I wanted to update you where we are with them. Um, and I definitely failed on the lose 10 pounds part. That is still a work in progress. But I did get through most of my products that I said I was going to. So if you want to find out what I got through, what I didn't, and what my thoughts are on all of them, um, then come join me. So, oh, like I said, the panning project that I did, now the uh, Panning Ladies is, again, I'll put the Facebook group down below. They have all different types of panning projects going on. I did this one as my first one, thinking that it would be pretty easy. Ten products, I had it a short time limit on it, and I think I chose my products wisely. I did get through the vast majority of them. Um, so the first one and I chose was, was the Suns Out, Pouts Out Lip Mask, and I love the SF mask so I knew I would use this up and I still love this lip mask uh, so this is one I would definitely recommend to people well uh, I also chose those in the mask this happy place this is a inspiring tea infused aromatherapy eye gels so very pretty and they were very nice is um you know, not much else to say about them. They do have rose, hibiscus, and lotus flower in there. Uh, they were, they were nice. They, I mean, they did their job. Uh, but they, you know, oh, made my eyes look a little nicer that day. I can't say anything. They didn't blow me away, but they weren't bad. So, I mean, I don't think I'd go out and buy them, but if somebody gave them to me, I'd use them again. Whoa. Okay, and then I did have a face mask that I used up. This was the, called the 7 Day Mask. It was the Lemon One. I did get this in a... Um, I got this in a Facetory a, back when I got the Facetory subscription. It was a very nice mask. As, again, nothing to say a bad about it it was a two-step process so it did have kind of like a exfoliating pad that you used and then it had the sheet mask the sheet mask was very nice it smelled like lemon and um, I felt like my skin looked a little brighter after it but it, it wasn't my favorite mask of all time I would use it again and I don't know if I would buy it again though so, but I did get through it. A couple other ones that I did get through. I did get through this Creme Shop Jelly a Milk Double Cleanser. All right, now this was just a sample size. Like I said, I chose things that I knew I could probably get through. I love the Creme Shop. Uh, I did not love this. There was nothing wrong with it. It does, you know, it says it's a double cleanser. It's supposed to be a daily cleanser and makeup remover. I still felt like if I use this, I had to cleanse a second time. Um, so, and typically what I would do uh, is use a makeup up removing cloth, like a makeup eraser type thing, thing to get most of my makeup off, then go in with this, and I still felt like I needed to go in with a second cleanser. So if it's telling me it's already supposed to act like a double cleanser and I'm needing to use a second cleanser, I'm not really buying thing that part. But, you know, most of mine I feel like, like I have to use a double cleanser 
or on, so I can't say it's any worse than that. There is one cleanser I have found that I really, really love from Stavana that, um, it's a rice cleanser, or that is the only one I feel like actually it gets off most of my makeup and, and, um, dirt and oils and stuff. So, oh, I wouldn't rebuy this. I think I got this in Ipsy as, as, you know, oh, it was one of the items Ipsy chose for me. I was happy to try it. And I just, it's not something I would repurchase. Uh, then from Glow Recipe, I used the Watermelon Glow Niacinamide Dew Drops. Uh, these were nice. These are, again, I feel like a lot of these, uh, the things I got through were nice, but I wouldn't buy it again. Um, I use it kind of like a serum, but I, a lot of times would put it like a drop in with my moisturizer or it's supposed to give like a little bit of a glow. I didn't feel like it really gave like any type of glow to it. Um, I didn't think it transformed anything and made anything look any different. So, oh, I guess as a serum, it's nice, but don't expect it to give you like any type of dewy look. So through that, I would not repurchase it. Uh, then I, I used up this tart. This is the drink of H2O. It is a moisturizer. This is just a little sample size. I did use this up completely. I would repurchase this. In fact, I have repurchased it. This is like my go-to oh, uh, summer moisturizer. It is a gel-like moisturizer. It's very a cooling when you put it on. And I, it, you know, absorbs and dries down quickly. I really, really like this as my, a summer moisturizer. I would definitely repurchase this and already have. Okay. And then a couple of things that I didn't quite make my goal on. And this one, I can't say I didn't make my goal. Oh, this is the Hanalei Lip Balm in Tropical Citrus. As this I opened and when I started this, so, oh, I knew I probably wouldn't finish it in time. And my goal was kind of to make this my nighttime lip balm, and that's, I have been using it for about six weeks as my nighttime lip balm. I enjoy just about everything I've tried from Hanalei. I would repurchase this again, and I will be looking for it in and the Ipsy sales, so when I see it, every um, I've tried cleansers, I've tried their aloe gel, I've tried their lip masks, like I said, everything from the Hanalei brand, I have really, really enjoyed, and including this. I can't put this with my empties, I gotta put this over <laughs> here, I don't want to throw it out. Um, I almost used up this Glow Recipe, this is the Watermelon Pink Dream Body Cream. I've been using it as both a hand cream and a body cream. It is lovely. It smells just like watermelon. And I just, I have like, I don't know, two or three uses left in here. So I am almost done with this, but I will definitely use it up. Um, I would probably reorder this, um, especially if I could find it on a sale. Well, the last one that I didn't quite use up, up was this candle. You can see it got a little dirty there. It says, one beautiful fragrance can create many beautiful memories. This is from Rituals. Well, I believe I got this from Mary Catherine Loves Cats in some friend mail. Well, um, I'm about halfway done with it. I don't burn candles nearly as much in the warmer weather because, of course, they a, it is fire, so it does produce heat, and and we don't keep our house super er, air conditioned. We do air condition, but it's not a blasting AC. So, oh, um, I try not to bring any more heat into the house. So, oh, oh, I am not quite done this, but I'm sure on some chilly evenings, things I will be burning this and will go through it. I did like it. I will continue to burn it until it's gone, and but 
just didn't quite get there in that time. Okay, so that is nine products. I have one left. I did not finish this one. I do not intend to finish this one. I did not like this one. This is the Surfer Curl by Tarte. It is a mascara. It is kind of dry. It is super clumpy. Um, yeah, it just was not good. And I, it was, you know, had flakes and clumps and everything all over my lashes. This is the only reason it's still here is because I wanted to have it here for the follow-up video. Oh, but I would not repurchase this. I would not recommend this, this one. Um, this one is going straight in the garbage after this. So, all right, that is it. Like I said, I did not lose my 10 pounds, unfortunately. I, I am trying to be better. It is a work in progress, but I am proud of myself with what I did get through. So I did and finish two, three, eight, four, five, six out of the 10 products I completely finished, which I think is really good. And three of them um, I started and and um, working my way through, still continuing to work my way through. And of course, the one I just didn't like. like I tried it. I didn't like it. I, I don't think I should have to feel bad Ed, for getting rid of this. I tend to want to try to use everything up, but this one just wasn't going to happen. So let me know what your thoughts are. And until I see you next time, have a great day. Bye.